Hello and welcome to YouTube Developers Live. We have an exciting show for you today. We'll talk about getting a deal on a movie ticket with uh, DealFlix. So let me introduce our guests. I have Zach and Steven today in the studio. How are you doing, guys? Pretty good. How are you? Doing good. <laughs> uh, my name is Jarek Vilkevich. I work in YouTube Developer Relations. And uh, I understand you guys are based out in San Francisco? Yep, we're just in the mission area. OK, cool. Well, thank you for coming down here to uh, Mountain View. Not a problem. So tell us a little bit more about what you guys do. Yeah, DealFlix is a price line for movie tickets. So okay. essentially, you come to our website, dealflix.com, find a theater near you, mm -hmm. find the movies that are playing there that we have, and find a deal up to 60% off. Cool. So how did you guys come up with the idea? Yeah, so Sean really started this idea when he's graduating from Berkeley. Mm -hmm. He was going to see The King's Speech, and it was a pretty awesome movie, but it was like 10 people in this room of five, 400 seats. Yeah. So he's like, ah, there's got to be something to do. Uh, you know, his economic background, he's like, I, I, we should be able to do a price line for movie tickets. Uh -huh. And that's how DealFlix started. Cool. I heard that uh, your funders actually ended up sleeping in the van uh, <laughs> at some point in, in, in the beginning of the company. Is that true? Yeah, it's actually um, more recently. They're still kind of sleeping in this van. So Kevin and Evan uh, are two founders who on this do the theater sales. So uh -huh. they go to these conventions around the country uh, and you know meet these theaters and basically spend time around there trying to mop up all the different theaters we can for you. <laughs> cool. So this is what it takes nowadays to start a company. You've got to sleep in your car? I think so. I think it's the new garage. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> good one. All right. Well, so um, why don't you show us a little demo? How, how does your product work? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, so you can go to our site, dealflix.com. You can check out a movie in San Francisco. We're going to look at the internship. I heard this is about a pretty cool company. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got Rotten Tomato scores here. We can show you a little blurb about the movie, show you different show times. And the cool thing is you can watch a trailer right, right from the home page. So here's a little internship preview. Hopefully after this point you really want to see the movie. And you just click out, hit the go button like I am. And here you go. You can see at this show time, we have a deal for $7.88, 25% off. Mm -hmm. I want to see it tonight, so I'll pick the 7.30 showing. Choose a couple tickets, hit buy now. And that's it, I'm on the confirmation page. I can put in a little coupon code, YouTube Live. Oh, wow. Is that a secret coupon code? Uh, just for you guys. Just for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, $5 discount, put in my credit card, and that's it. Pretty much good to go after that. Cool. So if you're watching live right now, you can use the coupon code. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You All can right, use awesome. it after this, too. Good for Great. You. <laughs> so you guys have a uh, web application. I understand you also have a mobile app. Yeah, yeah. Steven here can demo you. OK, let's take app. a look. Yeah, so with our Android app, uh, we implemented the sign-in with Google feature, so I will going to sign in. So you're signing in with Google Plus? Yes, sign with Google cool. Plus. OK. Uh, Still signing in? Yes. Uh-oh. Let me try again. <laughs> no worries. Uh, oh, people didn't see that. <laughs> So why uh, Steven is uh, setting sure. it up. Um, so tell me a little more about uh, the Android app. Like, What's the capabilities and uh, yeah. what what you guys uh, implemented? Yeah, so it's, it's a completely native app. Um, we really try to streamline the process. Mm -hmm. So you just find your theater, pick your movie, pick your deals, right? So we've integrated YouTube, though. Um, the YouTube native player to so mm -hmm. basically allow you to watch the trailer without having to leave the app and, and avoid uh, you, you know, having to come back and find where you are, too. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. The SDK was really simple to integrate. Um, and then pretty much after that, it's, you know, I hope it's as easy as it can be. Cool. <laughs> so I see Steven sign in awesome. successfully. So should we uh, switch to the app and see what, what it does? Sounds good. Cool. Sounds good. Um, so from here, I can go to the same movie that Zach just showed you guys. So I go to the internship. Mm -hmm. And from here, we can look at all the information of the movie. And look at the Run Tomato score, and we can watch the trailer. Pretty nice. <laughs> cool. And so this um, is using the YouTube Android Player API. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let me pick a ticket. And I can check out using the same coupon code, YouTube. <laughs> the secret deal. Live the secret deal just of for the day. <laughs> <laughs> the password is. Nice. So here, 
after that, I can just enter my credit card number and purchase. Uh -huh. Great. And then you get an email, or like how you actually yeah, what so do you do at the theater? So at the theater, you'll, you'll get an email. You can show that email voucher to them. Uh -huh. It has a confirmation code. Um, and then you can also show that on your device. So within, oh, I see. Uh, you can go back to your purchases. I think you have a couple purchases. No. This, oh. uh, <laughs> Not in this account. Not in this account. But uh, yeah, you can just show your purchase on your phone. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. The, the theater has a back-end system where they, re they um, reconcile the, the deal. OK, cool. So um, tell me a little bit more about uh, your implementation, uh, maybe starting with your web application. Yeah, yeah. So we run, uh, we program in Python. We're using the Tornado framework. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a really simple system that I like, uh, really bare bones. It mm -hmm. allows me to write all the SQL ourselves if we need to. And that's it. We've, we've created a basic REST API that all our apps talk to. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what you've seen on the iOS and on the Android device. And uh, you know, we have some hook-ins like Facebook or Google Plus, really, is what we've been focusing on lately. Mm -hmm. So you saw Steven signed in with Google Plus on the Android device, and then it takes advantages of the activities that Google Plus has and the interactive posts that mm -hmm. the Google Plus mm -hmm. has, too. Yeah, one feature that I saw, uh, maybe switching to the uh, mobile app, is um, the ability to actually petition a the theater right. uh, if it's not available <laughs> uh, in, in your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we've been working really hard. Obviously, Kevin and Evan driving in this van around the country. But yeah. we're trying to get more theaters every day. We're in about 200 locations now. and But we're not everywhere. So what you can do if you're on our app, you can click, click the Can't Find Your Theater poster. Sean's pretty face will be there. And then we'll give you a list of all the theaters around you. Mm -hmm. And you can petition for them. Basically, what a petition means is I'm going to say on Google+, that I want this theater. Mm -hmm. um, and that's an interactive post. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. And then, uh, so talking about the mobile application, so how did you guys implement that? Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a native app. We, we use a lot of you know standard, I think, third-party widgets, like mm -hmm. the action bar Sherlock, I think, is one of them that's really cool to use. Um, the grids uh, is obviously another thing that really was helpful in our, in our layout. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you can think of, Steven? Uh, we we use um, some um, SDK for RESTful API, mm -hmm. and we are gonna use. I think we are looking into Volley. Mm -hmm. So cool. that communicates with your Python uh, backend. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then you're using the YouTube Android Player API for the video playback. What about the uh, video itself? Like, how do you guys know which trailer to play? Yeah, it's a little bit of a manual process right now. Old school. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're pretty old school when it comes to that. We're not used to grunt work. Um, so yeah, you, when we sign up with uh, Sorry, when we get showtimes for a theater, we'll have to pick the movie out, and uh -huh. then we'll, we'll put in that YouTube trailer ID. Got it. We go on, yeah. you know, we just scour the YouTube. Unfortunately, no data API integrations yet. Yeah, yeah. for those <laughs> of you watching, uh, you can actually do the lookup using our data API, so you can look for, for trailers. So I recommend yeah. uh, using that. As you guys grow, it may become increasingly more difficult to oh, actually yeah. Uh, stay on top of that. Definitely. Uh, and then you know we were we were chatting a little earlier today about you know some of the capabilities that Data API might give you in the UGC area, like yeah. showcasing some user generated content. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited well. about it actually. <laughs> cool. Um, so have you guys looked into the Data API v3 yet? Not not yet. Good. So uh, that's uh, something that maybe you can do uh, <laughs> later today. <laughs> uh, and then uh, one question that I always ask. It, my my guests here is um, did you guys run into anything unexpected like things that you didn't expect and you know learn while developing the application whether there are technical uh, issues or, or business challenges like anything you would be willing to share with our audience yeah I think you know from a startup perspective trying to figure out the right product to sell was mm -hmm. a challenge for us in the beginning so two years ago when, when Sean came up with this idea it was very much an opaque model similar to hotwire where you could pick a movie, and we tell you one of two locations where this movie could be playing. But mm -hmm. users really didn't like that experience, and so we we changed it to this opaque model based on showtime. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, we'll play this movie at this theater you want, and it's a really good discount. It's even better than if we were to tell you like the exact showtime. Mm -hmm. um, but but you'd have to be like one of these random two, mm -hmm. and people didn't like that either. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> at the end of the day, it's really down to getting to know the exact show time that you want at the exact location that you want it at. And if the, the deal doesn't have to be so high, but just enough that you're willing to use uh, GeoFlix to get that deal. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. So you guys uh, uh, did some changes to the business model as you, as you went along. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Anything on the API front that uh, you guys wish we had and we <laughs> don't? Uh, I think it's been requested a lot, you know, a native uh, iOS experience for yeah. the player. 
That's true. So <laughs> right now, uh, you guys have an iOS app right now. Right. And, and what do you guys use there for playback? We just use a UI web view. Yeah. OK, and the iframe embed. Yeah. OK, yeah, th that is something that actually uh, comes up a lot. <laughs> Cool. No worries. Uh, great. So uh, I'm going to uh, see if we have any questions from uh, our audience real quick here. Sure. Uh, I see there's uh, one question that is relevant, um, and I think it's addressed to me. <laughs> uh, it's uh, is YouTube developer relations hiring. Uh, yes, uh, we are hiring. Uh, to learn more, go to developers.google.com slash jobs. Uh, well, I think um, this uh, is it. Uh, thank you very <laughs> much uh, for coming down. Thanks for having and, us. And uh, yeah. thank you for sharing the super discount coupon uh, oh, with yeah, our YouTube. audience. YouTube Live. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'll book a movie uh, ticket tonight. Sounds great. And for those of you watching, thank you for your time. And we'll see you again uh, next week live on Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific. Bye.